thought that termites first were introduced to Canada in the mid to late 30s, around 1935 to 1938, and they were brought in from contaminated shipping material in the states across the Great Lakes, somewhere in the Docklands area of Toronto, actually on Cherry Street to be precise. And since then they've spread all through uh, metropolitan Toronto and southern Ontario. We collected termites from all across southern Ontario, from Toronto all the, to, all the way to Windsor and in between. And we did that with the help of homeowners and pest controllers. And then we used genetic techniques to determine like the genetic code of all the termites. And we asked this big question, are all the termites in Canada descended from a single invasion event and therefore they're all related? Or has there been multiple invasion events, in which case there would be multiple different genotypes across the country? And what we found is that there was actually not one, not two, but at least three different invasion events into Canada. Why has this species in particular been so successful at invading urban habitats like in Toronto and in Paris and other cities besides? And it's thought that this, the, the, this species in particular, it normally uses you know, genetic information to recognize uh, their colony mates and non-colony mates. And in their normal setting, they, they use that information to keep each other in check. So they'll be literally colonial. They live in colonies, and the neighboring colony will only get so big before they start to keep each other in check. But if you take a few termites and displace them and invade them into a city, then they've kind of lost all the genetic information that they once had. And they're kind of uh, tricked in a way into thinking that all their fellow termites are related and they don't have the same colonial aggression. They're called what they call unicolonial or super colonial and that they just uh, are indifferent with respect to who, which termites are which and they grow and grow and grow and grow and the colonies, they don't keep each other in check. They just spread over whole city blocks. There's one implication for quarantine and that's uh, perhaps quarantine officers are now slightly more aware that termites are getting in and repeatedly so and given the economic damage that they do cause in, in urban environments, that there might be a bit of a heads up there. The second uh, implication is that now we understand their genetic qualities a bit better, we, we know their genetic code. And it's conceivable that future pest control uh, applications might somehow exploit that, like somehow have a pesticide that's particularly acute toward these genotypes.